founder of the Comic Book Hideout, uh, a great little comic shop here in downtown Fullerton. Um, it started in 2012, correct? Yep, in um, November 2012. In November 2012. Um, I just want to tell you how inspired I am by you, that you, you know, you're running your own business, your dream that you had since six years old. I, I yeah, think. yeah. Well, we, um, I always thought about having a business when I was a kid with my dad. We would go, uh, we would travel all around for family vacations and look in shop windows that were up for rent and we'd be like, oh, <laughs> I could see, we would put this here, we put that there. And it was always just a really fun, um, playful thing that I did with right. my dad as, as a kind of what if game. And I'm the type of kid that I love what ifs. I love what ifs and, and who would have done it and things yeah. like that. So, so at one point did it become a reality from just a what if to we're taking the steps now to get this started. Well, uh, I make decisions, and when I make them, I act swiftly on them. So I, I had made the decision in 2012 in the summer, um, near my 25th birthday, that I was going to open the shop. Oh. And it was uh, only a few months later that I actually no got everything together. Well, because when you when you are passionate about something and you exactly. really want to do it, there's nothing that can step in your way. Exactly. So if if you want something and you're out there and you have a goal and you have a desire, you have this dream, something that makes you get up early in the morning and ready to tackle the ready to tackle the day, I feel like that's, uh, once you have the bug, it's got it's you. It's like a sign from the universe. Exactly, you gotta do exactly. It. And so, <laughs> signs from the universe for sure, right? Yes, so, exactly. I, I had made a decision to open the business, and uh, I had been working with um, some business stuff before. I had um, tried to open, my very first business, that no, I don't know if anybody knows this, <laughs> my very first business was as a professional organizer. Oh, no way. And it was in 2008, and I was going, I was helping people with um, getting their home offices together. Together, moving from different places. So that introduced things. you into this whole world of business and how to yeah, start so it up. I, I got interested in this idea of like, oh well this is this is so interesting. I could do this thing that could help people and it right. would be something that I'm good at and blah blah blah. So I went and I studied at um, Long Beach, uh, Cal State Long Beach. They have the small business development center is on their city campus. Okay. And then they have business classes that they host at the um, Cal State. So the education is very important to get yeah. that information yeah. that you need to get this started. I don't know if most people know that, that I went and studied business stuff for a little bit. But I mean, the SBDC put on this great program right. that's basically a how-to to become an entrepreneur, like how to oh, really set up a business Check plan, how to uh, create your profit and loss statements, how to do your finances, all this kind of stuff. This is awesome information that is ready and, and waiting for you to <laughs> discover it. If you go to um, city websites or the, like what I used was the Small Business Development Center and they okay. have those for Orange County, for LA. Um, they usually are done in districts and counties, but you can get all of this information online. That, if you want to do something and you're passionate about it and you're interested in it, then you'll inherently research it and exactly. you'll inherently do your homework to get it done because that's what needs to happen to get it yeah, done. You so have to take the steps. You have to. As, as you learn about it, yeah. you get more and more information. And the more information that you get means you need to learn more. And the more you learn, the more you know, right? right. So what are, what are some things that you would tell someone who's starting a small business to kind of avoid or... Or some oh, of the man. pitfalls. There's well, many. I should I should write a book on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for a book coming in next um, year. <laughs> I think that the most important thing as a business owner and uh, as a person that's just starting a business is be specific in what you want, mm. but not so strict that you can't improvise and compromise and figure it out yeah. because the more clear your vision is the more resolute you are in what you are looking for and what you want and what you're trying to develop and create mm -hmm. 
the more easy it will be to do that. So the clearer the image that you have, the clearer the picture of what it, what it is that you want, the easier it will be to tackle it in its entirety. That's because true. you'll know all of the details because they'll be important to you because those details are what make up the whole picture. That's very true. Right? That's so true. stick to your guns. Don't let people take advantage of you. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, that... That, <laughs> that is a good one. So you, you work in like one of the funnest jobs I think in, in my in my opinion you work with comic books with art to me I consider that this all art yeah. so what yeah. is uh, I know it's gonna be hard but what is your one favorite thing about you say waking up in the morning and coming yeah. to this shop what do you look forward to the most well there's a lot of wonderful things about having your own business and any business owner will tell you it's it's like it's like having a child right you're creating something and you're bringing it into the world and you're proud of it and you are excited by it and you're completely consumed by it and it, it takes over all of the parts of your life even if you it didn't think that wonderful. it would uh, and it's, it's it's equally as wonderful as it is um mind-boggling and it makes me crazy all the time. <laughs> but I think that the favorite, one of my favorite things, and when I get really stressed out, uh, which if you know me happens all, all the time, uh, if I get really stressed out, it's really fun for me to come in a little bit early in the morning to take some time for myself. Oh, and as I, as I open the shop, and as I turn on all the lights, and I get to look up, look upon my kingdom, that is Simba. A thing. <laughs> all all <laughs> of these things. The light <laughs> Anything the light touches. Um, I, I really, I like to. Uh, I like to put on my favorite song of whatever time it is and blast it so loud that my neighbors are probably mad at me. <laughs> and uh, I just like to enjoy the space that I built and to reflect and to remember. Yes. It's not just my job that I go to every day. It's my baby. It's, it's baby. my thing it's that right. I love. And, Which is and growing my... in front of your eyes. Exactly. Would, exactly. So. And so I feel like the whole stop and smell the roses thing is very cliche. But it's cliches are cliches for a reason. It's and true. Some of them are very true. Even just walking from my house to the shop in the morning and actually literally stopping to smell flowers on my way <laughs> here. And then opening the store and, and recognizing that no matter how stressed and how crazy things might be and how upsetting the world can be at large, yeah. the bad news that you can hear in the morning yeah. before you get out of bed, it's it's crippling almost. Yeah. But knowing that there's a place that you can go and be calmed by that, you know, a sanctuary. comic book hideout is, yeah, it's a sanctuary. And it's a sanctuary it's, hideout it's, for... It's a hideout for... You know, a place that you can escape all of the regular tragedy of the world and embrace the small bits of happiness that you can find in all the nooks and crannies that I have around the store. That's a beautiful thing. You know, I want I want to be able to come in and have a smile be put on my face when I come in and people are looking through the bins and kids are laughing and parents are talking to their kids about stuff that they had when they were little. And it's just, it's really... Uh, I hope that the hideout is a little beacon of light in Fullerton for the dark times, Harry. <laughs> actually, we are dark times, Harry. <laughs> I know that there it is actually because um, you actually have some classes for for students and yeah, you yeah. want to tell them uh, us a little bit about the classes. Yeah, we we have the brand new hideout music studio. I, which I saw is that. Pretty awesome. Yes. We are teaching a uh, voice, piano, guitar, bass, drums, ukulele, and songwriting, and you can come and jam in the studio whenever you like. We have classes. The free class, first class is free. Free consultation class with Brittany, and she will take you in and see what you're wanting to learn and what kind of a uh, schedule you want to make up and Very what. Price ranges can fit for you, but the Hideout Studios is a fantastic new addition a great to the addition. shop. Another little hidden gem in Fullerton. <laughs> exactly. You can't find that a lot in a lot of places. Well, that's why we're here. That's what's so great. And uh, finally, I just thought, do you want to tell people where they can find you, like on social media? Or yeah, like, on we or... we're on all of the all social of media. You have to be. It sucks my will to live, but we are there, <laughs> and I'm there for you. You can watch the weekly What's Up every week, uh, filmed right here at Very Comic cool. Book Hideout. Very we cool. have our own YouTube channel for that. It's also on our Instagram, our Facebook our Twitter, whatever type of social media you like, uh, we've, we've got something for you. Well, so seems... check it out, comicbookhideout.com, or you can come see me in downtown. Me and Ryan and Shannon and Willie are all here waiting waiting eagerly to meet you and to talk comics and whatever you like here at the show. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, us. always, and uh, have a wonderful rest of the spring. Thank you. Bye.